and welcome to the hot plate. Today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making a classic frittata. Now I love frittata but what I took for granted is how much people wanted to learn how to make one until we posted a recipe on our blog and we got so much phenomenal response. So today we're going to be showing you the basics for making a frittata at home. Basically, a rustic Italian omelet that is perfect for anyone that's afraid to flip eggs and a great way to empty out all those leftover odds and ends of cheese and vegetables in the fridge. We've got some pepper, our extra virgin olive oil, one cup of packed baby spinach, seven large eggs, some salt, a quarter cup of half and half which could be substituted for cream or milk, a quarter cup of soft goat's cheese, we've got a quarter cup of chopped red peppers, and then some chives. Start by cracking in all seven eggs into a mixing bowl. Then pour in the quarter cup of half and half and season it up with some salt and some pepper. Then we're going to be adding our chives. I find it easier than trying to finely chop them on a cutting board. Just grab a pair of scissors and just snip them right into the bowl. Heat two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a small non-stick skillet over medium heat. Add the red pepper and spinach and start stirring until the spinach just starts to wilt. Pour in the egg mixture and season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Keep the heat over low to medium and we're going to cover it. Let the eggs start to cook on the stove top. You want to make sure that the heat isn't too high and we're going to cook it until the center is just loose. This will take about 10 to 12 minutes. After 10 to 12 minutes, start sprinkling on your goat's cheese. Preheat your broiler to high and make sure that the rack is in the top third of the oven. Transfer the entire skillet into the oven under the broiler and broil until the top of the frittata is puffed up and golden brown. This will take about five minutes. Now that our frittata is all ready, it's time to get it out of the skillet. Loosening the frittata out of the hot skillet can always be a little bit daunting, but don't worry, just use confidence, grab a spatula, and move the spatula all the way around the outside of the skillet so that you're loosening the frittata. Then we're gonna carefully slide the spatula underneath the frittata to loosen the bottom and just slide it onto a serving platter. Our frittata is all finished and I cannot wait to get a bite of this. Mm. Oh, that goat's cheese makes it all creamy, but we've got that sweetness from our roasted red pepper, a little bit of crunchiness from those eggs that went under the broiler. This frittata is phenomenal for breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. So thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate, guys. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes at thehotplate.net and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.